Hello, everyone. Uh, this is a new Q Center video on uh, the method of completing the square. So, completing the square is a method from uh, college algebra, from pre calculus. It's very useful in contexts such as uh, finding the roots of a quadratic polynomial or finding the absolute maximum or minimum value of a quadratic function. So, uh, more concretely, uh, the method does the following. If you start with a function that is uh, given by a quadratic polynomial, we want to write it as, the, as a square plus a constant. So in this case, uh, g of x will be a linear polynomial, such that it's a square plus a constant is this, uh, the function we started from. So we'll, we'll see a couple of examples in a moment. Uh, but the main formula we need for all this is simply the expansion of a square of a linear polynomial. So you expand that and you get uh, what you, you would expect. And that's what we're going to use to guide us through uh, the method of completing the square. So let's see an example of how this works. So suppose we want to find the solutions of a quadratic polynomial and uh, we're going to use the method of uh, completing the square. So what I'm going to do is um, my hope that the best scenario would be that this is actually the square of a polynomial. If that was the case, then I would be basically done with the problem. So I'm going to try to match these two terms to what the square of a polynomial looks like. So I'm going to try to match these two terms to these two terms. That's going to give me what the a and the b are. And from there, I'm going to be able to complete the square. So let me do some work uh, here to that end. So I'm going to match um, x squared minus 14x. I want it to be of the form a squared x squared plus 2abx. All right. Then that tells me that a squared equals 1, because I look at this coefficient and that coefficient. And it also tells me that 2ab is minus 14. This tells me that a is plus or minus 1. And then I'm, I'm going to pick actually uh, a 1. So I'm going to say um, that a is 1. And then from here, uh, I would get that 2ab equals minus 14. And, uh, and then I get that 2b equals minus 14. or that uh, b is minus 7. OK, so I found my a and the b that would match this equation. And then I'm going to see what would be the square of a polynomial ax plus b uh, with, those, uh, with those choices of a and b. So if I do 1 times x minus 7 squared, that will be x squared minus 14x plus 49. OK, and you see these are the first two terms I wanted. But then I'm a little off. I don't get 40. I get 49. That's OK. It's not a perfect square, but I'm going to get as close to be, uh, I'm going to find the square of a polynomial that is this closest to this. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and subtract here 49. So this is also equal to x squared minus 14x. And I'm going to add 49. I'm going to subtract 49, add 40, like before, and 0. So this is what I, where I added 49 and subtracted 49. So these two equations are the same equation. But now the benefit is that I know that these three terms are the square of a polynomial. So this part here is x minus 7 the square, and uh, so these three terms add up to x minus 7 the square, and then minus 49 plus 40, it's minus 9. OK, so then what I get is that if this equation holds, then x minus 7 the square equals 9. By the way, the, uh, completing the square has been successful. I've written my original polynomial as 
uh, a square plus a constant. And this gives me that x minus 7 squared equals 9. So uh, therefore, um, then x minus 7 is the square root of 9 plus or minus the square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. And then that tells me that x is 7 plus or minus 3. So it is either 10 or 4. And that is my solution to this problem, which I've done by uh, completing the square of that polynomial. OK, so now we're going to do a second exercise um, where we have a function, quadratic function. And I want to find the minimum value of this function in the real numbers. So how do we do that? We're going to complete the square again uh, to help us do that. So again, I'm going to complete the square here. And again, what I want to do is um, write these first two terms to match something of that sort. So I want to write x squared plus 6x to make it match something like a squared x squared plus 2abx. OK, great. So again, I get that a squared equals 1, and that I'm going to be able to choose uh, a to be plus or minus 1. So I'm going to choose a to be 1. And 2ab is 6. Uh, since a is 1, that tells me that uh, 2b is 6. And then I can say that b is 3. Let's look again at uh, what the whole square would be in this formula would be the square with a equals 1 and b equals 3. That is x plus 3 squared. That is x squared plus 6x plus 9. And you see again that uh, these two terms match the first two terms of my equation. So that's good. So I'm going to again try to use that knowledge to write this as a square plus a constant. So what I'm going to do is I want a 9 here uh, plus 9. So I'm going to add up 9 and subtract 9. So this equation is also equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 plus 11, where now this part and, uh, is uh, equal to my square. So this part here is x plus 3 squared. And minus 9 plus 11 is uh, it's 2. OK? So I see then that my function f of x is a square plus 2. So I've completed the square. This polynomial completed, completing the square of this polynomial gave me a square plus a constant. So I'm done with completing the square. And now what I want to do is find the minimum value of the function. But you see that the function is always positive. So it's always at least 2, right? Because uh, this is always, this is a square of a real number. So this is always greater, greater or equal to 0 plus 2. So this is always bigger or equal to 2. And now I just need to find out whether 2 is possible. Well, you see, I just need to make this 0. And at x equals minus 3, that is when I have uh, that f of minus 3 is from this definition, 3 plus 3 is squared plus 2. And that is 0 plus 2 equals 2. So the minimum value is 2 and it happens at x equals minus 3. Okay, So those are two examples of how you complete a square, um, finding the coefficients that you need, the a and the b, to complete the square and how you carry it out, and then how you use uh, the method of completing the square for a couple of very typical examples, such as finding the roots of a quadratic polynomial or finding the minimum value of a quadratic polynomial 
and uh, over the real numbers. So that's it. Enjoy.